Google's Nexus 4 offers a pure Android experience on an unlocked device at a great no-contract price. It's also fairly easy to disassemble and hides a bit of a hardware secret inside. Let's find out what it is. I'm Bill Detweiler, and this is Cracking Open. With its 4.7-inch IPS display, quad-core CPU, 2 gigs of RAM, and an 8-megapixel main camera, the LG-built Nexus 4 holds its own among high-end smartphones. And given its support for NFC and wireless charging, it's even a step ahead of many. It's also well-built, feels sturdy in your hands, and as I'll show you, fairly easy to take apart. First, remove the SIM card and the two Torx T5 screws along the bottom edge. Then, using a thin tool, gently pop off the back cover. Now, attached to the inside of the back cover are both the NFC antenna and wireless charging induction coil. The 3.8 volt lithium ion battery is held to the motherboard by a pair of screws and to the internal frame with a lot of adhesive. Removing it takes quite a bit of patience. The speaker enclosure comes out next, followed by the plastic frame covering the motherboard. The phone's vibration motor and earpiece speaker are attached to this frame. After detaching a few connectors and cables, you can remove the motherboard and separate the front and rear facing cameras. We can now remove the metal shields from the motherboard that conceal most of the phone's chips. Prominent chips include the RAM chip that's likely stacked on top of the Snapdragon CPU, as well as a Qualcomm modem. Now what's really interesting about this modem is despite the Nexus 4 not officially supporting LTE, this chip actually does. And I've read online reports of people connecting to some LTE networks that operate on band 4 in the 1700 and 2100 megahertz spectrum. But there's no guarantee it will work for you in your area or that the functionality won't be disabled at some point. So even with this modem, there's still no real LTE support. Now, turning our attention back to the disassembly, we can now remove the smaller circuit board, which contains the phone's micro USB port, a microphone, and several speaker contacts, as well as the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack assembly, which also houses the ambient light sensor. As the front glass panel, LCD, and internal frame are all fused together, our teardown is complete. The Nexus 4 may not have the stylish design of Samsung's Galaxy S3 or the outstanding battery life of Motorola's Droid Razor Max HD, but it's a solid phone and one that's not too difficult to crack open. And at $299, unlocked without a contract, it's definitely priced right. Now, for more information on the Nexus 4, including real world tests and pricing, check out Lynn Law's full CNET review. Now to see more teardown photos and read my full hardware analysis, go to techrepublic.com forward slash cracking open. I'm Bill Detweiler. Thanks for watching.